There. exist before in the US because it's not a kit it's totally manufactured in Poland and they testified about mine according to the logs been flown four or five times a total of an hour and a half mm -hmm. so they, they know it flies and then they break it down into six pieces put it in a shipping crate which is 950 pound cargo right? mm -hmm. it's made of three quarter inch particle board it weighs 950 and it's carrying 230 pounds of bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's all all wooden screws. It's overbuilt, but beautifully this thing came in with. Me. So what did you do with all the wood? Because wood well, these we days had to is. Well, we break it down. Okay. Disassemble it. We put this had this thing put on the trailer, flatbed trailer, strapped it down real good. Put a frame front and back with two by fours, so it couldn't tilt, and brought it home. And we left it on the trailer, took the one side of this thing off. They tell you, this side off only. Took, the, took it off, and then everything was wrapped and taped and, and secured on the wall and the back wall with uh, tie wraps, big tie wraps. Mm -hmm. Drilled over. This separate piece, this separate piece. So you're only assembling six items. And. All of this without the blades, one piece. So there's minimal assembly. So definitely, this is not a kit. Um, I'd only owned this in my possession a week ago, Tuesday. And I had to build up my trailer too. So I've been busy with trailer. But to disassemble, now that you've got everything out, you've got this huge piece of wood thing. You don't want to hurt yourself getting it apart and off the trailer. So we, we disassembled it as carefully as we could. And then once we get the last bit on the ground, we could take it apart. Uh, we had a ton of wood, a ton of screws. We kept uh, we cut very little up. Well, it's a pretty machine. Okay. Thank you. your own off up here huh yeah this is your master switch for power turn the battery on this is neat you can take it out if you don't want anybody stealing your bird uh, it's tethered on here in case it fell out doesn't end up going through your prop and then this is the off position and then this is on so off on and out of the machine this is your rotor brake oh okay right now it's engaged Obviously, when you want to spin up and fly, it goes up against the wall. Down, excuse me. So off, on, on the brake. Your brake for the, the main gear. One lever. I've got, I've got to adjust my brakes. They're slipping a little bit. So that this, is, this is what you, you hold. You get a hold of the bird still while you're bringing the power up and bringing the the rotor speed up to 200 RPM. And then when it's time to go, you disengage, disengage the, uh, the pre-rotator. This is full engaged, full unengaged, and let the brake go. And now you're, you got 200 RPM. Now you're going down, you're advancing the power. This is the throttle here. Idle, full power. Anyway, you're going, you're going down at about 150 feet. You should have, if your technique is good, you should uh, 
it teetered up on the mains, and then the final push of power, she's going to come off the ground, and you're flying. You need 300 RPM of rotor speed to fly. So this is doing two-thirds of the work. The pre-rotator is doing two-thirds of the spin-up for you. This is unusual. This is getting used to. From, from what you're used to. From what I'm used to. Now, what about this right here? Is that... Okay. It has a transmitter back here. There are a lot of things that are hardwired to it. Cylinder head temperature, EKG, a lot of data. And it's Bluetoothed up to this receiver. Okay. And so you have readouts. Unbelievable amount of data coming in here for no weight and no wiring. Okay. It's called a Moto Electronics, made in Europe. And so you have what? That, both of these birds are 36 horsepower. They do make a 50 horsepower with, of a different manufacturer. That's, that's coming into the country shortly uh, to the Michigan importer. And he'll have that at Sunday at uh, Oshkosh. Oh, okay. And it's a different fuel type, different engine. So they're not really, I can't take this off. Oh, so it's already going to have a little bit of a body design then to yeah, accommodate that amount. Right. This, this is a 75 foot service ceiling. It has a 400 red. It's fucking pea yellow, man. Pea yellow. Oh, did I say that? Sorry. <laughs> it's my wife's favorite color. This is my favorite. Beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I tell people, I pick yellow because. When you crash in our Florida swamp, you can see I, want, I want people to be able to find the body. Uh-huh, there you <laughs> go. Explains why they don't say have them green or blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw you fly yesterday. You'll, show me yours then, sir. Mr. Copeland brought his um, red nano. How many hours you got on it now? Uh, probably 30. Flies good. It's an ultralight. Flies like an ultralight. And you got the thirty-something horsepower too. Yep, thirty-eight horse. So you flew it all the way down from um, South Carolina. All the way down from South Carolina. <laughs> it took me two weeks. <laughs> now check out this. Belt. Check out this belt um, assembly up here. With that's the... a Kevlar belt, and that's a Sprague clutch on that for the pre rotator. So you just saw this and had to have it, right? Uh, they looked interesting. So we brought it in. We demo it for people. I don't have nothing to do with the company. But... Now, if somebody wants to see this, will they be able to go to um, the Barnstormers yep. in um, North Carolina on um, what date is that? Uh, May 15th through the 17th. 2021. They can come see it, see it fly. They can even try it on for size. So the, what, 25, um, 25 uh, grand check, they can take it up? They can, they can take it home if they want. Okay. Everything is for sale for the right price.